So we're here at, uh, with WIT Limited for the energy harvesting. Uh, so what are you doing? Hi, we've developed an energy harvester that captures energy from motion. So if you like, it's an engine, but the fuel is motion that's all around us. And that may be motion from the sea, motion on land, people walking around, um, or even from the air. So with this device, and you can see here we have a 3D pendulum, whichever direction you move this yeah. in, it spins a flywheel in a single direction, and from the flywheel we get power take off. So the applications for this are putting a device like this in a backpack to generate power while you're walking along, having a smaller version to clip to your belt to generate power from a mobile phone, or larger applications for boys and, and uh, boats on the sea. So how much power comes out of this? Well, this has the capability to generate up to five watts of power. Five watts? Five watts. And you, from a size of device this size, we would look to be able to generate maybe 0.2 of a watt. But with one of these in your pocket, at the end of the day, you should have enough power to recharge your smartphone. And for people away from home a lot, that's a very good application. That sounds awesome. Uh, so uh, where are you based? Uh, we're based in England, um, Plymouth. And uh, what's next? Are you go how do you get it to the small size to put in the pocket? Okay, so the first thing we're working with is Schaeffler, a global bearings company, to build our first marine device. Um, the challenge for us is finding the right partner to build the, the smaller consumer device. And we're looking for a global partner with the right transmission capability to help us work, work with us and build that smaller device. So this one looks awesome. Uh, did you in invent uh, Hardworks or...? Uh, this is invented by our chief technology officer, Martin Wickett, and he designed this system in his own garage and optimized it. And we've now used this prototype to get interest from Schaeffler and Ricardo and other global entities as well in our technology. Um, only last week we had Raytheon, another company, contacting us about a potential application. So it's quite a compelling technology. Because Can you put this in a smartwatch? How small can that it get? Would be, that would be very challenging. But in theory, with a kinetic watch, you can only get power from one plane. With this device, you can get power from all three planes. So that is uh, backwards and forwards, side to side and up and down. So you can potentially get up to four times the power of a kinetic watch device. So there is potential. So uh, since when are you working with energy harvesting? Um, the company's been working for two years and I'm helping the company on the finance side and the corporate side. And uh, how fast is it going to go from now on? How fast can We're it go? We're going to have our first product in the market in 2017. So it's coming soon? It's coming quite soon, yes, absolutely. And we'll be testing devices in the ocean towards the end of next year. So what do you think about energy harvesting in general? It's definitely coming and it's here to stay. There's a very big market for energy harvesting. The other thing is harvesting is uh, is actually scalable. With our device, a large ocean device, we have the ability to get, generate grid-scale power to power cities. And that is an application that could do a tremendous amount of, uh, of good globally. Because ocean, oceans move 24-7, we'll be able to generate power 24-7 and uh, reduce further reliance on oil going forward. The trick is to get the price down for the machines, right? It is. And because our technology can generate up to twice the power of competing devices, it means that our technology will become the technology of choice. And so therefore with mass adoption we can bring the price down to be competitive with other uh, renewable solutions. And it can be built in a way that it lasts forever yeah, or not? It's maintenance free because it's, it's built to be enclosed in a contained sphere, not expose the elements. And it can be designed to last for potentially 25 years.